Hello, Mrs. Kleinhein? Yeah, uh, I rang your doorbell last night and you weren't in, so I, I was... What? No, this is not an obscene phone call. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Kleinheim, this is the way I always breathe. <laughs> I, 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 wait, I, I'm just gonna call the police. <laughs> you better make the rest of the calls. Okay. Daddy, you're up. Up and at him, little girl, up and at him. What were you doing outside? I was just outside raising a flag so that everybody, including the foreigners, would know that this house sits on American soil. <laughs> coffee, everybody. All right, really, I don't want no coffee, and you better hurry up with yours, because we got to get out of here and vote. I'll get it. Well, you're raring to go. Yesterday, you weren't going to vote at all. That was before Packers Pinko invasion here. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, my name is George Robinson, and I represent the Gay Liberation Front. How do you do? This must be Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> no, I'm Cynthia Nash of the Daughters of Sappho. We wanted to talk to you about our candidate in today's election. Now, hold it, now, hold it, hold it, Edith, there. Uh, uh, let me handle this, huh? Edith. Don't you know what they are? She's a daughter of Sappho, and he's a gay liberator. <laughs> Step aside, will you, huh? Just let me do the talking here. Excuse me, get lost. <laughs> Archie, that wasn't polite. Edith, do you have to be a dingbat all of the time? They seemed like such a nice couple. Couple of what? <laughs> he ain't a he, and she ain't a she. I don't know what you mean. Edith, you remember Richie Clifford from across the street? who used to sit on a stoop, knitting sweaters. Yeah, he taught me how to cable stitch. <laughs> Remember Schultz's daughter, Maxine, a cab driver? They wouldn't let into the Teamsters Union. Oh, you mean Butch? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you mean this? Yeah, yeah. Tutti and Fruity. <laughs> See what kind of garbage they're giving out here. Oh, look at this. We are citizens too. Make it legal for two consenting adults to do whatever they wish in the privacy of their own homes. Why would they need a law for that? Oh, I'll answer the door here. Hi, Mr. Oh, hello, Lionel. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Yeah, we're just getting ready to go out and vote. Oh, well, I'm glad I caught you because I'm here to do a little campaign. Mr. Bunker, I would like you to vote for D'Angelo for city council. Yeah, what are you doing rooting for an Italian? Oh, no, he's black. Here's his picture. Hey, look at this. See? What's this guy doing with an Italian name? Oh, the usual thing, putting it on his letterbox, on his checks. <laughs> hey. I mean, how come a colored guy's got a name like D'Angelo? Well, it gets confusing, doesn't it? You know, there's a lot of black people named white and a lot of white people named black. Well, just the other day, I was delivering some cleaning to a family named Rockefeller. Black? No, white. Sometimes it works out just right. <laughs> so how about it, Mr. Bunker? You gonna vote for D'Angelo? Now, when I'm lying, you see, in America, we're a secret ballot here, so all I can tell you is that I'm gonna vote my conscience. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. Bye. Bye, Bye Lionel. Bye. Well, let's go get them. All right. Go where? Get what? What are you doing? We're gonna go vote. Oh, they're gonna eat it. They're gonna go vote. Come on, hurry, hurry, eat it. Come on, finish the coffee. Will you? They're getting out the door. Why can't you hurry? See you in the morning. Come on, eat it. Will you get your hat and go? Here's your bag. Come okay. on, hurry up. They're getting the hat of us. <laughs>